Okay, this is what it's all been leading up to. We finally get to beat up Hop in the big stadium. He's going to be super easy, probably, just like every other of its fights. I just had this sort of flashback, you know. Remember, we're back when we were still in Postwick, when we got our Pokemon from Lee that day, I never would have dreamed that I'd end up standing here, facing you of all people. By the time I finished what was started that day, got it? The one who will become champion is me. We'll see about that. Oh, this music's good. This was all being leading up to. Double. We battled back in the garden. Oh, my God. So my damn TV it goes off if you don't press the button. Ruin the big moment. Alright, we will Um We'll just drum beat him. So I think we can kill this guy in two hits. Or almost one. <laughs> Use body slam, please don't. Don't paralyze. Good. Use a full restore, but I'm not gonna give me a match good. This music is very good. Okay, that was an easy first Pokemon. Corviknight. Yes, I will switch because Toxicity can probably take this out in one hit. Wait, is this what that little bird evolves into? A Corviknight? Damn, if I knew that, I would have leveled them up. I thought you get Corviknight just from somewhere else. Oh well. See, one hit. I knew you'd be aiming for a super effective hit. He's even easier than Marnie was. Two level ups. Snorlax. Um, yes, I will also switch to Bear Tick. Because I can probably kill it in one hit with... Damn, I feel so bad for Hop. This should be a big battle, but it's just so easy. I'm sorry, but... No challenge at all. Boom. And there was a critical hit. More like painted, and he's gonna send out what was he called? Um, I can't remember the name, but it's oh wait, no, it's Pin Churchin. What does that do? Okay, after this, he's gonna be doing the uh, the one I'm talking about. Oh, damn. It's because it's been lowering my attack. Okay, we'll use Blizzard. Blizzard, go. That worked. <laughs> Grimmsnarl, level up. Inteleon, I will switch to... Relaboom, because he's going to die in one hit. <laughs> Almost everything died in one hit except that 
Think you got me back into a corner? No way. This would just make my victory all the better. Alright. I hate to do this to your heart. Release all the thoughts poured into my wishing star. Time for a Dynamax. It's not going to be enough, mate. Big spy. He's still gonna die in one hit, because I am also going Super Saiyan. Actually, this is just like the original Super Saiyan when they go 8 mode. Like when Goku turns into a big giant bear, a uh, giant monkey. Just like it, because I'm also a monkey. Oh no! Good, you didn't kill me. How's that? I learned a lot by studying Lee's old matches. Damn, it's healing now. Goodbye. We did it. Hooray, we win. That was loud. We win. None of my Pokemon even died. <laughs> Damn, I feel so bad for him. Jake, thanks mate. I'm really glad you were the one here with me. And the victor of the semi-finals, the challenger who has won their way through all the of the many hopeful trainers in the gym challenge is Challenger Jake. Of course it is. You know, even when Sonia was saying that you and me looked like we could become heroes, I really never felt like one. But you, mate, I think maybe you really could do all sorts of great things. Good on you, Jake, and Rillaboom and the rest of your team. Damn. At least he's smiling. Jake, that was incredible, brilliant. Honestly, there were even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. I think that the two of you set out together from the same town, built up the greatest teams, and arrived here at this point to throw everything you had at one another. That burning desire to win, those moves filled with undefeatable passion, it was battling at its very purest in every possible way. Even though there were some trainers who weren't sure whether you would fit, you were fit to be endorsed for the gym challenge at first. That was you, Lee. Well then, all the more reason. My team members and I will give everything that we've got in us to defeat our challenger and the challenger standing up before us to, might well end up being you Jake in fact that's precisely what I'm hoping for that's right Jake the real challenge is what's coming next and I'm completely exhausted I just want to head back to the hotel and rest best to refill your energy stores first why don't we go get some dinner I wouldn't say no but you never care at all what food tastes like Lee. a night like this deserves more than rubbish takeaway so at least pick something good Wait, I thought that was the final. That was only the semi-final. I guess we fight against Bead in the final. Got some time for questions. First question. You and Challenger Hop were both endorsed by the champion, making you two rivals in a sense when you say. How does it feel to have defeated your rival? Um, it doesn't quite feel real yet. Right, question number two. If you wanted to tell Challenger Hop something right now, what would it be? Damn, this is all deep stuff. I thank him for the great match. I tell him how strong he was. That he was just a rival I knew he was. Let's tell him that. Question three. Level with me. Your honest thoughts here. Think you can win the finals too? I absolutely do. 
Alright, that's enough. Jake's already tired from battle. You've been asking rather rude questions. We've got ourselves dinner plans with my brother, so sorry, but clear off already, would you? Yes, yes, I understand. Looking forward to see the birth on the new star. This is a real fancy hotel. Phew, famous people sure have it rough, eh? I hope Lee gets here soon. I could eat my own arm about now. Oh no, it's been several hours. This is absurd. Even Lee's never this late. Something's not right. He always does what he says he'll do. As a kid, he promised me he'd become champion one day, and he just went and did the, did it. He ought to be able to keep his own dinner plans. Kids sure got a mouth on them, huh? If you were that noisy during battle, you'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know? Well, pack it in, Piers. I'm seriously worried here. See, I don't need to see your smug mug looking like you are having a go at me, even though you act like you're giving me good advice. Judging by appearances, no wonder you lost you, mate. If you're looking for the champion, I saw him heading to Rose Tower. Why would he go there? Don't know what he's up to, but I ran into him at the mo monorail platform. He said to tell you that he had something to do at Rose Tower, so he'd be late to your dinner. But why Rose Tower? What could he have to do there at this hour? Piers, do us a favour. Take us to Rose Tower, would you? Neither Jake nor I know the way. Sheesh, what rude siblings. Always so demanding of others. I suppose... It's a real problem for me too if the finals are held up for any reason, and I don't really hate the two of you little runts. You were good enough to beat me after all. So I think I'll invite Team Yell along and we'll have ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? Brilliant, you're the best, Piers. Let's go make a real ruckus. So they're total good guys, Team Yell. Okay, let's go. Man, why am I even here for this? I'm totally exhausted from that battle with you, Jake. We decided that Team Yell will cheer you on, Jake. Let's help out together. I want one of those little things. What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it's entirely unnecessary. Miss Alina? Chairman Rose, Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There's no way I will let anyone interfere. Yep, she's definitely a bad guy. After all, only auth authorised personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. That means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. I have hand-selected a member of the League staff and given them a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy these kinds of menial games after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between normal League staff and the one I chose? Do you think you can find me? Um, I don't know. What should we do? This isn't good, but I got this one. Jake, Team Yell's willing to handle this. No, this is brilliant. I'll search around the front of the stadium. For now, we should try to head to the plaza together, right? Yes. Alright, let's work together and head for Rose Tower. Let's find Olina's league staff member. That bad one was wearing those lame shades, right? Oh, that's true. Is it this guy? I guess not. Um, this guy? So the guy had black sunglasses, I think. I'll just talk to everyone, I guess. Ooh. Item. Max Revive, that's useful. There are League staff that's... Oh my god, League staff starting a fan club for Olina. Must be this one. Hey Jake, this bloke's awful shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising. Miss Alina's here. What? Blast, I turned around. And I can't escape, in that case, time for a Pokemon battle. Marco, Macro Cosmos Eric. 
Macrocosmo. Is that the name of the company? I guess it is. Almost dead in one. My cheers will really get you going. Thanks. This is really cool. Let me out with a beard. <laughs> Bar of Skewed is almost level 50. Durant, I will switch because that one's a pain. Better. Superpower will kill it real fast, I think. Um, I thought he would be weak to fighting, but apparently not. It'll kill him fast anyway. Let's just do it twice. Excuse is finally level 50. Don't suddenly talk to me like that. I accidentally turned around. That's what I wanted you to do there. All I need to do is hide and run after to give you the key. What the hell? I've already found him. So dumb. Um, is that him there? That is. How'd you find me? Oh my god, we've got to battle him twice. They're just like padding out the story at this point. Nothing is very effective, damn. But I think uh, Toxicity will be... Nope. Who has anything super effective? Shedinja does, but she's going to use a dark move. I guess I'll have to use... Barracuda. Barracuda. No big deal. Feel the flow. Yeah, you feeling it, Jake? Yep. Uh, liquidation. Hmm. Nice one. Excadrill. I think this is weak to water. Yeah, it is. Good. So this is where the, it's going to be a big plot twist that they're the bad guys all along. Probably. And I even switched up my Pokemon while I was running. Is he going to run away again? Oh. He ran this way, so... Oh, there he is. <laughs> Please don't make me fight you again. Damn. So annoying. They're definitely bad guys making you go through this annoying stuff. Okay, let's knock off. I mean... It's just annoying when it's like not challenging or not really very rewarding either. Yeah, have some of my support. I know you can keep the beat going. Dance, Pokemon. Just 
just knock him off again. What's his second Pokemon gonna be? Steelix. Um, who was good against Steelix? Who was? I guess Bearit with fighting. Okay. I think fighting is strong against Steel. Yeah, I can never. Yeah, it is good. Hopefully he doesn't kill me this time. This turn. Oh. Good. Okay. Yay, we did it. And he's not gonna run away again. Run away again because, you know, three times should be it. Hiding didn't work and battles didn't work. Only one thing to do now is run. Seems like you got me cornered, but I'm not going to give up. Good luck catching me on the monorail. Give me the key then. Team Yell, go find Hop. We'll corner the League staff member at the station together. So what was Team Yell's deal with like trying to help Pokemon? Because they weren't. What was that all about? I don't get it. What's she shaking her head at? Darn, darn, drat. That's what he's saying. You did a cracking job of cornering that bad League staff member, Jake. Let me sing you a song fitting of the rotten deeds. The only thing a humble singer can do is... I'm not gonna sing. Maybe my songs don't make anyone happy, maybe I can't help. Oh, he's still singing. <laughs> I think you mean a station performance. Come on, let's see if we can get closer. People getting their phones out. Damn zoomers. Ooh, those things. Oh, they're so cute. I want a dancing dog. Or a dancing zigzagoon. I guess they're raccoons, not dogs, but... we got the key, Piers. We can take the monorail to Rose Tower now. Jake, hop. Now is your chance. Go, get out of here. Alright, we did it. He's a big bad guy. So this is Rose Tower. Just how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. So what should we do? Team Yow is going to have their hands full holding up those bad league staff members. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, Jake, what should we do? Uh, let's go ahead. Good thinking, let's go collect Lee and get out here. Without him, there's no champion for you to challenge in the Champion Cup. Jake, you cleared the way to Rose Tower. Now all you gotta do is charge on ahead. An employee's an employer, I guess. Seems that exec lady hired the mo hid the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion hold up inside. Wonder what he's plotting. Times like this, when tension and passion run high, reminds me of Spike Month, Spike Mirth in the old days. Some right wild concerts we had back then, but no encores. Wait, you're still here? You better get going, I'll send some support your way with a yell. Gotta stick around to make sure my bro doesn't do anything too crazy, right? Come back if you need anything. Doogie. Am I healed? Let's check that. No. I guess I don't really need to heal. Okay. Uh, that's it for that episode. Thanks for watching.